In this video, we'll explore how to create engaging abstract paintings using words to add visual impact and turn your artwork into a dynamic fusion of text and texture. Hey everyone, it's Chris Loud. So the expressive technique of adding words to abstract art can elevate the viewer's experience by inviting deeper exploration and connection with the piece. This is a really fun and useful exercise to do with those art pieces we have that just didn't work out. So in the first part of the video, I'll quickly create a colorful, intuitive abstract painting, and then I'll add somewhat random words that I cut out from newspapers. With that said, you can write the words, you can print your own, cut some out, or however you would like to add them. So I'm starting out kind of making a, a mess with uh, cadmium orange, Prussian blue, light blue permanent, and light olive green. And I'll be creating some shapes with a piece of charcoal here coming up. Uh, just some kind of random intuitive shapes. Uh, I'll also be using a fine tip applicator quite a bit in this particular exercise. And I'll leave a link to those in the description if you want to check those out. But that's up to you if you decide you'd like to use one of those. It's not necessary. Um, you know, you can, you can use paint, you can use charcoal, uh, Posca markers, whatever you have, uh, and, and that will work for this. Um, the dimensions I'm working on are, are 8 by 8 inches or 20 by 20 centimeters, uh, and this is a piece of gessoed watercolor paper. And I'm just adding uh, now, just kind of carving this shape out with a little bit of Naples yellow mixed with titanium white. Uh, just to try and get some some definition around this piece. This was one of four pieces that I was working on kind of at the same time and uh, of all the pieces this was the one that that I wasn't as thrilled with uh, as I was going through the process and, and uh, working through this painting session. Uh, so you know that's that's where I really wanted to just play, uh, and I thought the fine tip applicator, um, you know, the nice thing about that is uh, puts down a nice thick uh, border of uh, what I've got in there is Mars black paint. And then by using this um, smaller, I believe this is a small round brush, uh, I think this might even be a, a watercolor brush, um, and just going through and kind of smoothing out some of those areas and spreading that uh, Mars black around a little bit to help start creating these shapes and, and uh, a little bit of a little bit of form in, in here. Um, so uh, you know really just kind of playing at this point um, and I'll show you what I do with this fine tip applicator here coming up where I start creating some lines, some other shapes, and my original intent was to maybe fill those lines in. Uh, and uh, that's kind of where I started thinking about the idea of um, using um, some cutout words uh, instead of filling those in with, with paint. And again, just starting to add some more of, of those colors, getting the, uh, the uh, forms a, a little bit more rich uh, with, with colors, and just again, kind of playing randomly here intuitively. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, other tutorials, art demos, and challenges, please feel free to subscribe. But if you haven't played with fine tip applicators, uh, I think they're a great tool, especially for uh, borders um, and highlighting areas. But you can see now what I'm doing with that is uh, starting to create some other shapes in that negative space. And that will come in handy when I start uh, using um, the cutout words that, that I've picked. And when I, when I start doing the cutout words, um, I went ahead and, and, you know, kind of cut out those words and played with those ahead of time. And, and then you'll just see me putting those down. Uh, I think you'd be pretty bored watching, <laughs> watching me uh, cut out those words. So. so there are several ways that adding words to artwork can, 
help the piece be more engaging. Uh, they can create uh, emotional resonance. So words can evoke specific emotions or memories that align with the painting's mood, which can draw viewers into a more profound emotional experience. For example, a single word like solitude uh, or a poetic phrase might transform an abstract scene into a space that feels reflective or introspective. And words can, can possibly offer interpretive clues. So while abstract art often thrives on ambiguity, uh, including words can offer subtle clues or themes that might guide the viewer's imagination without necessarily kind of dictating a single interpretation. And this can help a viewer find a personal connection to the artwork while still leaving room for individual interpretation. They can build a, uh, a narrative. Uh, words can create a, a narrative layer that adds depth and dimension to the visual experience. So a short phrase or title can turn a series of abstract shapes into a story or a memory, which can encourage the viewer to think about the art in new ways. And adding words can enhance the visual contrast. And that's what I'm doing in this piece. So the interplay between text and image can create a visually dynamic experience where the shapes of letters or words or numbers, uh, their placement and the interaction between text and form become part of the composition. And the comp, you know, the combination can can make the painting feel more alive and engaging. So the words and combination of words that I'm using for the most part are somewhat nonsensical. Um, I mean, I, I had a lot of fun clipping words and sentences um, out of the newspaper and, and, and placing them together. Although, you know, they were fairly random and seem Kind of surreal when when put together. Um, I'll put the words in in the description so you can see what I mean. Because um, some of these might not be as easy to read uh, on the video. But adding words can also help challenge perception. So words can introduce contrast and uh, contradiction um, or contradiction. Um, you know, making the viewer question their initial impressions of artwork. So maybe a serene abstract painting paired with a word like um, chaos can create a tension that pushes the viewer to think deeper about the relationship between the visual and verbal elements. So by blending the, the visual language of abstract art with the expressive power of words, the artwork can become a, you know, like a, a multi-sensory experience that encourages viewers to think, to feel, and, and reflect on a deeper level. So here's some close-ups of, of this, and I'll show you the, uh, the final piece. And I'll show in different orientations, although they really only work with the words in a couple orientations here. And when I typically include words or numbers in my art, I usually like to have them more set in the layers of the painting, but in this one, I needed something to spice up the, the painting a little so they were more focused and bold. So let me know in the comments if you prefer when words and abstract art are hidden within the layers or they are more visible and bold. So thanks for watching and keep on painting.